everyone! Today I am going to be doing a book haul with all of the books I have bought recently in spring and summer. The first book that I'm showing you today is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, And this book I have already read. It's about two best friends and one suddenly disappears and leaves behind a list of things that she wants her best friend to do. The next book I'm talking about today is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I have started this, as you can see by my Taylor Swift bookmark in here, um, but I didn't get very far because I had to read um, The Great Gatsby for school at the time. But I know it's good, my friend read it and really enjoyed it, and I've heard a lot of booktubers talk about it. Basically, this book is a cute romance. I don't know that much about it, but basically two misfits find each other and are able to have a really sweet story. And I think it's sad, too, from what I've heard, but yeah, I definitely need to read this one this summer. The next book that I got during spring and summer is actually not a book that I bought. I acquired this through my school's book club because they're awesome and they give us the book instead of making us go buy it or borrow it from the library or whatever. And that is The Fifth Wave. They wanted us to read it before the movie came out. And I did read it. I still haven't seen the movie. This book was really good. It's told from multiple points of view and all of the characters are really interesting and I have yet to pick up the second book and the third one has either just come out or is coming out soon. So I definitely need to read those next two books. But this is um, a futuristic alien invasion. It's almost not even futuristic because it's so like it could happen today. And I love that aspect of it because it makes it really interesting to be like, wow, what if that did happen? You know, so this book was really good and I really enjoyed it. Next, I'm talking about The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. And this is the sequel to The Kiss of Deception. And I loved The Kiss of Deception. It is such a good book. It's also told from multiple points of view. And it's about a princess who is trying to escape her family because they are trying to force her into an arranged marriage that she doesn't want because she doesn't know the man. And so I really loved that book, but I still haven't picked up the second book. I bought it, but I still haven't read it. So I definitely need to read this because I loved the first one. I just haven't had a chance. So definitely need to read this one. Next, I bought City of Bones while I was on my spring break trip. This book I have already read, and I finally read it this year. It came out in 2008, I think, but, and everyone loves The Mortal Instruments. Everyone loves this series and has been talking about it forever, but I haven't picked it up until this year, and I love it. I'm currently reading City of Fallen Angels, so, yeah, really enjoying this one. Basically, this book follows, uh race of people, I would say, that are called shadow hunters, and basically they are, they have angel blood and human blood inside of them. They're half angel, basically. The next book I also bought on my Spokane trip during spring break, and that is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. This book I started while I was on the plane home, and it ended up being like, too creepy for me to do on the plane to read, so I haven't finished it yet. But from what I did read, it is really good. It's a futuristic dystopian about these children, I think, have like an illness or powers or something. I haven't really read that much about it, so I need to really just read the book. But I've heard really good things about it, and I need to read it. But not on a plane, because <laughs> that was just a little bit too much. I was like, nope, nope, too overwhelmed. But it is really good. I'll keep reading it eventually. The next book that I bought is like literally my favorite. It's so good. Well, maybe even something else next is my favorite. But 
This is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and this book is so cute. If you're looking for a cute contemporary, it's the one. It's about this girl who's very shy, and she writes fan fiction, and it, she's in her freshman year of college, and she has a twin, and they end up kind of growing apart, even though they're at the same school. And there's a lot of really hard stuff that happens to this character. She deals with social anxiety and things like that. But the cutest romance also happens, so if you're looking for something like that, this is the perfect book for you. The next book is a spin-off of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell called Carry On, which is basically the fan fiction that Kath writes um, about what's supposed to be Harry Potter without kind of saying that it's Harry Potter. But this is, um, it's Rainbow Rowell's way of telling a hero story similar to Harry Potter, and it is so good. If you love Harry Potter, or fantasy, or fangirl even, you will love this book. My most recent book purchase is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, and this I just can't resist buying her books because they're so cute. I haven't even read this yet. I just know it'll be cute from reading Since You've Been Gone. I haven't read anything else by this author yet besides Since You've Been Gone. But I am so excited to read this book, especially considering that the cover is so beautiful. We have this dust jacket that's absolutely gorgeous, am I right? And then inside, there's this picture. I love this. And then the book itself is just so cute. I love the whole thing. It's just gorgeous, but that's not the point. I'm sure, since I loved Since You've Been Gone, I'm sure the writing will be spectacular, the romance will be really cute, and she'll get friendships spot on and everything. I'm just really excited to read this one. So that was my spring book haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and if any of these books sound interesting to you, I'll leave their Goodreads and Amazon links below. And I hope that you enjoy reading some of them this summer because I'm excited to read the ones I haven't read yet. Also, I just got back from a trip to Guatemala. Um, I was doing a service project building stoves for the people in the Mayan villages who are still cooking over open fires. So if you want to see some of my vlogs from that, I am starting a vlog channel that I'll link below that is called Life Through My Eyes. So I hope you enjoy those vlogs as well because I got a lot of footage and that also means that my travel diary or something like that, I don't want to call it that, but it is inspired by Aspen Ovard who has done travel diaries in the past. I am going to be uploading something similar to that on Friday, so be on the lookout for that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!